what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to remove video background from any video without using green screen in Fimora. so let's go ahead and get started all right so as you can see here i have Fimora open and i do have a couple of videos here that i'm going to be using to remove uh, the background i'm going to go ahead and select this first what video guys? welcome to the course my name is nash pause that i'm going to add this to my timeline this is a pretty short video. Let me go ahead and make it a little shorter so that when we start uh, applying this uh, tool, it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna cut the video, uh, make it a little shorter here, okay? All right, let's go ahead and expand that so it can uh, fit the entire timeline. All right, so this is my video here. So if you look in the background, there's a lot of things happening. This is why uh, we're gonna be using this tool because you, know, you can have any type of background and uh, this is really gonna work, right? You don't need a green screen to do this. All right, so I have my video here. So what I'm gonna do here, make sure that the video is selected. I'm gonna go over to tools. I'm gonna go ahead and select video. And you're gonna see that we have a tool called Smart Cutout, okay? Go ahead and select Smart Cutout. Click on that. This is gonna take you to this window here. So one of the things I like to do on this window is you wanna navigate to a frame where you kinda of like capture your entire body really. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna use uh, this frame here. I think it captures you know my head, uh, my body, or well, part of my body at least, and my hands as well because those are things that are within the video, right? So you can kinda of like see if we can find a better shot here, okay? Maybe this right here, this is probably a better shot. All right, so once you find a frame where you have a good shot that shows your entire body that's gonna be in the uh, the video itself, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at some of these tools that we have here, right? So we have obviously the undo and redo uh, tool. Uh, you also have the brush here, that's right here. This is what's selected right now. You have an eraser. You also have a hand tool to move things around and you kinda like to have how you want uh, this video to fit uh, the screen here. So I always use fit because I want this to fit the entire screen. Uh, and over here, you have um, preview mode where you can kinda like preview how things look. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. And you also have the color here. So this is the color, once you start brushing over your subject here, this is the color that's gonna appear. So if you don't like this blue, you can change it into any other color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the default here. Now, over on the right side, there's two options here. We have a simple mode, which is gonna work for everyone really. But if you wanna take it take it up a notch, uh, you have uh, the uh, um, advanced mode here. So for now, we're gonna stick to the simple mode because we wanna keep this very simple. And this is what's gonna work for 99.9% .9 of people that are trying to use this feature. I'm gonna go ahead and hit simple mode. And all right. So first thing you wanna do here is obviously change uh, the thickness of your brush. Let me go ahead and make this screen a little bigger, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and change the size to be, let's say uh, you can see that on the screen here, um, it adjusting, right? So you want this, you wanna make this as easy as possible for yourself, right? So you don't wanna use a brush that's this size for you know uh, a subject that's like this big here. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the brush size to maybe uh, 156. And I'm gonna go ahead and start painting over the subject that I want to remain in the video. So anything that's not painted is gonna be removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint. Let's start with my head here, so like that. So once you let go, it is going to show you that highlight. So this blue color here, or purple, is gonna show up on where uh, where you painted. So this is what's gonna remain in the video. So you can go ahead and uh, paint the rest of your body here. You don't have to do the whole thing all at once. You can um, paint and then just take a little break here. I'm gonna let go. So you can see that now my body is selected. Now I wanna go ahead and do my arms, right? So I might wanna make the brush a little smaller here. So let's go ahead and make it this small. Go ahead and paint my arms. Go ahead and do that like that. Cool. Now I wanna do the same thing over here, right? The same thing over here. Now this is not gonna be perfect, right? Because I'm just trying to get this done. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna be perfect. 100% perfect, but essentially I have my body painted here. Now, one of the cool things you can do here is gonna be the edge thickness, right? So this is what you can quickly use to kind of like um, 
uh, fix this here. So if I increase this, it's going to go ahead and kind of like fill out the edges a little bit here. But before I do this, I want to use the eraser in order to kind of like fix uh, some of the things that I'm seeing here, right? So if I hold control and I scroll in, it's going to allow me to zoom in here. Now we can use the hand tool up here to move around uh, the screen, right? So let's say I want to erase uh, this here because the chair is kind of like highlighted here. How do I do this? I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, the eraser tool, right? I'm going to go ahead and make it small, change the brush size to the small, and I'll go ahead and erase um, the chair right here, okay? So kind of like that, look like it's eating into my face, but we can fix that a little later. So I'm going to make this a little small, so you can go in as much as you want in detail in between my, uh, let's go right here. I like that. All right. There you go. Let's make it a little bigger here because here is we have obviously a visibly large uh, distortion here. So let me go ahead and just get rid of this over here. Get rid of that. There we go. As you can see, gets rid of that. Uh, you want to make sure that you get every little detail here, right? That. And let's finish that up. Finish up. The uh, arm over here like that. All right, cool. All right. So this is obviously not perfect, right? Definitely not perfect, but do take some time to really perfect at uh, this here. Now the goal here is to have your entire body within the screen so that, you know, it's recognized. So if you only had your face in the screen and you go ahead and highlight that, and then all of a sudden you move your body into the screen, it's not, gonna, it's not, it's not been identified on here. So it might not be captured within, um, you know, it might be included in the, it might be removed from the background actually. So once you have this here, let's zoom in a little bit. So we have, uh, we can see a little more of this. All right. You can change the edge thickness. So as you can see here, I kind of like ate into my face. Sometimes some of these eat, uh, into, um, the body itself so you can increase the edge thickness kind of like fill it up a little bit here now if we had a little bit too a little bit of too much on everything you can lower the thickness it will just it will just decrease uh, the size here in proportion to what you painted right so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this fits the body here let's go this was good at zero actually but this increase a little bit here 1.87 that's pretty good you also have the edge feather right this is gonna smoothen out the end here let me increase it a little bit Actually, let's go to like maybe two, right? Uh, two, that's not too bad. Now the edge feather is gonna kind of like smoothen out the edges of this um, uh, highlight here. So, or the painting, I guess. So if I smoothen this, see that it kind of like blurs out at a hundred percent, but you don't want to do it a hundred percent. So just make it smooth on a little bit. So you don't really have, so it's not like rough edges, right? So do just a tiny bit here, okay? Now, once you have your settings good to go, Go ahead and select click to start smart cutout. So click on that. Now we're going to give this a second. You can kind of like see this track on the screen here. So this is why you needed your entire body in the screen when you're doing this highlight, because you can kind of like see um, it's tracking it. It's still blue on here. As I move around, it's tracking. It does a really good job, surprisingly, of tracking this. Now, if you're moving a little too much in a video and a little too quick in the video, you know, it might not be able to capture every single frame because you're moving a little too much. So I'll try to use it on videos where you're not moving too much. Now, once it's completed, you can see that we have kind of like a blue line here that shows us exactly where, um, you know, this has been applied, which is the entire uh, clip, you know, uh, there's some points in here. Let's go ahead and that so you can move this around and kind of like see uh, what's happening here. So you can see like kind of like here where my hands are moving pretty fast. All right. And you can see that it kind of like captures the background too. It's not just following my fingers, right? It's kind of like capturing some of the background on there. So once you have uh, this ready to go, go ahead and actually there's also uh, an invert mask. So if you selected this and just say for some reason you want to invert this to where you delete the person and keep the background, you can use this button to invert the mask. As you can see now the background is selected, but this person, right? So if it's kind of like hard for you to kind of like uh, select the person, you can select the background, you know, paint over the background that you want to remove and then invert the mask and it's going to invert it on the subject that's not painted uh, within uh, the video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, save right here. This is going to export uh, this to my timeline. So I want to play this. Let me go ahead and mute it because I don't want to hear it. Uh, 
and I'll go ahead and play this. Now look at that, right? So obviously it's not gonna be perfect because I'm moving a little too much within the video, but you can see that this does a really, really good job of removing that background. So what can you do with this? You can actually go ahead and add a cool background here, go to stock media, and we're gonna go ahead and look for, um, uh, let's say, uh, maybe this background here of cars moving around. I'm gonna put this in the background down here, right? Kind of like that. Now you can see that if I play this video, you can see that this is now my new background. You can obviously put images, videos, whatever you want to put in the background. This is how it's going to work. Pretty cool stuff here. Let me go ahead and just uh, make this the same size as my uh, video here. So I'll go ahead and fit the timeline and you can scale this down a little bit here. Um, all right. So let's see this, play that. You can see we have removed our background and replaced it without using a green screen, which I think is really awesome. All right, so that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can remove video background in Filmora. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.